Hello students, welcome back to my next video. In our previous video, we have seen lesson 2, self management skill. We have discussed the topic, stress management techniques, its meaning and importance, and also uh, discuss about the different techniques like physical exercise, yoga, and meditation. In today's session, we are going to discuss about 2.2 ability to work independently. Session 1 Importance of Ability to Work Independently One of the abilities that we require the most is our ability to work independently. Working independently actually means being self-aware, self-monitoring and self-regulating knowing what you need to do and when. Taking initiative rather than waiting for someone else to give us instruction what to do. Doing what is asked to the base of our ability without any external or internal fear. Moreover, learning to work at a decent pace so that our work is completed on time, taking ownership of our mistake and not looking for excuses or a blame game, not letting our self-doubt or negative emotions hamper our present or future action. Let us discuss the 7 necessary skill to ability to work independently. First, organizational skill. It is an essential requirement to know what to do, when and where to start and when to finish everything on time. Second, multitasking ability. It is your ability to work on more than one thing at a time and complete each of them with required proficiency. You know that computer is a multitasking operating system. It is able to perform more than one task at the same time. Other discipline. It is the most important skill to keep you and your actions in track for the successful completion of the task at hand. Other communication skill. It helps you connect yourself as well as with others for the support and cooperation required to finish the work at hand. Negotiating skill. It is your ability to see the bigger picture. It calls for the foresightness and willingness to the accommodate others idea for the benefit of all. Next, flexibility or adaptability. It is your quality to adapt your working style to suit the other people working with you. And the seventh skill is to ability to deal with rejection and not to take it personally. This calls for a never say die attitude and open mindedness to face failure and yet not get disheartened and start a press. Session 2 Self Awareness. What is self awareness? Self awareness refers to your knowledge and understanding of yourself, your emotion, beliefs, values, biases, knowledge base, abilities, motivation, interests, etc. Yourself includes recognition of your own personality, your strength and weakness, your likes and dislikes. It makes you conscious of your own moods, emotions and drives. As we move ahead in the 21st century in the knowledge-based economy, the need to upgrade our knowledge and skill to keep the space with the permanent white waters becomes all the more important. However, the starting point should be knowledge of oneself as a unique individual and how one relates to this in new economy. When you are self-aware, you almost always know how you are going to respond to certain good or bad situations. Developing self-awareness can help you recognizing when you are stressed or under pressure. This knowledge also capacitizes you have effective communication and productive interpersonal relations. Let us discuss the four types of self-awareness. Self-awareness of your strengths. Take time to discover your strength. Discover your strength by paying attention to the kind of work you do or want to do. What kind of work you feel energized to work on. What do others comment on the qualify of your work? What type of project you are naturally drawn toward? 
second self awareness of your weakness discovering your weakness builds your humility as you discover that you cannot do everything you either learn them yourself or humble enough to ask for someone else support self awareness of your dark side your dark side includes your character flaws and your hidden weaknesses don't hide them rather try to overcome them with the help of your friends and family self awareness of your emotional triggers these are your triggers point sometimes known to you at the other times not known to you the best way to deal with them is to keep your calm and composure in the rust of the situation remember that knowing your emotions triggers help you develop a strategy for remaining calm in those situations Session 3 self motivation and self regulating self motivation refers to your ability to identify effective method of getting yourself to move from thought to action every human being is different some individuals are highly self motivated while others require the imposition of external deadlines or some type of rewards or penalty in order to move from thought to action identifying your specific needs in this area is the first step a common barrier to action is often the perception that a task is too large or too complex to accomplish if that is an issue for you then a useful practice is to break down the job into the several smaller more doable tasks each of which you can envision accomplishing in a set time period in the recent years self regulation or systematic efforts to direct thoughts feelings and actions towards the attainment of one's goal and has assumed great importance in the psychological and educational literatures your self regulations allow you to keep a tab on your own emotions resulting as your responses to a specific event and attune your actions accordingly to accomplish your set goal In fact, goal setting is an integral component of self regulation. Effective goal setting is require you to set a long term goal, break it it into short term attainable sub goals, monitor progress and assess capabilities, adjust the strategies and goal as needed and set a new goal when the present one is attained. Your knowledge about self awareness, self motivation and self regulation will help you identify your skill set interests career path and key motivators you can also take personality assessment to gain insight into yourself your strength weakness motivators this personality test help you with insight into how to grow personally and professionally at last one of the abilities that we require the most is our ability to work independently Working independently requires seven necessary skill that already we discussed organizational skill multitasking abilities discipline communication skill negotiating skill flexibility and adaptability ability to deal with the rejection and not to take it personally thank you for watching